My name's Gregory D, and a massive welcome to the fourth instalment of my meal prep series. A series that's dedicated to showing you just how quick, simple, and cheap meal prep really can be. And when I'm talking about meal prep, I'm not just talking about any boring meals. I'm not just talking about healthy and nutritious meals, but mind-blowingly tasty, delicious, hard-hitting meals. So for today's dish, we're doing chicken hash. This dish is geared around giving you all the feels a roast dinner might give you, that herby roasty dimension, delivered in a healthy format. You are gonna love this one. A couple of things to note then as we jump into the ingredients breakdown. Today, as always, we're gonna be prepping five meals. I sourced the majority of these ingredients to Aldi with the exception of a couple of bits I got at Tesco's. There's a full detailed shopping list in the description if you need. I've apportioned costs relatively to allow us to calculate exact cost per meal. For instance, sage won't cost you seven pence, but a spoonful. The amount we used across these five meals will cost you approximately seven pence. So with that all being said, the exact cost per meal for this chicken hash totals only £1.28. Let's jump in. First things first then, preheat the oven to about gas mark 6. I'm going to prep this bird, I like to slice across the thighs to even out the cooking time. A little bit of olive oil on there, a bit of thyme and garlic seasoning. So I've got two large Maris Pipers here that have been well washed. I'm just going to roughly chop these in the skins and then into the steamer with the broccoli in the green beans. It's going to take 8 to 10 minutes. Get that boiling water straight into the potatoes and bring to the boil. Meanwhile we're going to roughly chop one large red onion and then we're going to grate two carrots and don't use this sort of a grater unless you want to redecorate your kitchen orange. I don't know where my box grater went so I had to use this thing. <laughs> uh, and don't forget to switch those potatoes off when they're ready, they're nice and soft. Out comes the chicken at the halfway point, turn it over and return it to the oven for the second leg of the 50 minutes cook. So when it comes out then, drain off those juices into a jug. We're going to use this for the gravy, put the chicken to rest and we're literally just going to sift off that fat. I like to use a trusty bent teaspoon, it does the job nicely. All the gnarly bits from the tray go in. I just dropped a little bit of Worcester sauce in. I'm going to add that to the pan and just set to one side. As soon as the chicken's back from the rest and it's cooled a little bit, you can start to pull it apart. The way I do this, I take the breasts off, the legs off, the wings off, and then any extra bits from the carcass off, and then I go through each leg, pick each leg, remove the bone, same with the other leg, and the same with the wings and any other little bits of the chicken. Be careful that you don't leave any bones in. So everything's ready, the first step of the hash, onions to the pan in the olive oil, let them soften and start to brown a little bit. The finer they are, the quicker they will brown and start to cook through. When they're softening, add the carrot, the grated carrot, and then in goes the potatoes. Give that a nice little mash about. If you've got a potato masher, that'll be the ideal thing for this. I'm messing about with a spatula, I mean that's more like it, a metal spatula better action, better squashing action. And then in goes the chicken, check the chopping board, iPhone cam out, puts you right in the mix, slipping down that board. And then we're just going to turn that in. There we go. Season, salt, pepper, the stock cube goes in at this point, sage, rosemary goes in, Everything's to taste here, by the way. Keep tasting to give yourself that perfect flavour and then flatten down. And as soon as that starts to come together on the hob, it's time to drop that under the grill to give it that final little touch. Meanwhile, we're gonna work on this gravy. Add the stock, add water to the stock, as much as you need to go round. Add an extra stock cube and then sift some flour in, 
with a whisk, keep the heat high and that will start to thicken nicely. Just be patient, we're trying to stay away from any gravy granules. So out comes the hash, nicely roasty and it's time to serve. Pop the veg on, hash on, gravy on. There we go. That is bang on. So guys, if you like this video, it would be a huge help just if you'd like it, share it, subscribe, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace.